Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this tote bag. It's fully lined, it stands up on its own, and it has several different pocket options, and I show you how to do each of those pockets. Let me show you what they look like right now. So here is the tote bag with the optional zipper top. So over here I just have two little drop-in pockets and that's where I'd keep things like chapstick or my phone. On the sides I have these pockets that just go straight through and that's where I can put things like my water bottle and then they just go away but if you have something there it doesn't pull out the bottom. And then the final pocket that I'll be showing you is a zipper pocket. And then finally, just a little loop for your keys if you wanted to attach them so you can find them easily. So with that, let's get right into the tutorial. For this bag, you're going to be needing interfacing, a zipper or two, matching thread. In this case, I just chose one that matched a part of my fabric, a main fabric and a lining. First you're going to interface two pieces of the straps and you're going to interface both of the main fabric pieces for the bag. And then mark a three and a half inch square on both of the bottom corners of the fabric, both for the main and the lining, and set that aside. To make the strap, you're going to take an interface piece and then an uninterfaced piece of fabric and stitch a half inch away from both sides. You're going to turn it right sides out and press the strap down and then top stitch on both sides about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Then for that loop, you can just take your little scrap piece, fold it over four times and top stitch. For the zipper attachment, you're going to place the zipper between two pieces of your zipper side fabric. It's going to be sandwiched in there with the teeth pointing in and you're going to stitch about a half inch in on each side. So once that's stitched, you can then stitch on the short side at the start of the zipper, leaving this portion open. And you can pull it onto the outside and flip it over. Fold over the open side and iron it so that you can close your zipper like that. Then you top stitch all the way around. You can also add a little zipper stop at the end by just folding a piece of fabric and an accordion and stitching as wide as the zipper tape is. Turn it right sides out and slip it over the end of the zipper and top stitch. And this is done and you can set it aside. Now take your lining piece and find the halfway point of both it and the zipper insert and pin those together. You can pin the little loop anywhere you want on this where the keychain will go. And then the lining topper, you can just pin that and sandwich everything in there and stitch along the sides. Iron the seam allowances up and top stitch. Then repeat the same thing to the other side. Now you can prepare your pocket pieces by folding over and ironing the raw edges and stitching any part that's going to be open. And then I'm just placing the strap at the bottom of the bag for a marker and finding the halfway point of the bag 
and the pocket and placing that where I would like it to be. Then just pin everything into place. And then you can stitch around the pocket. I went ahead and stitched up the middle, so down, up, and around to secure it extra. Look how cute. <laughs> and then if you want to add the zipper, you're just going to mark where you want it, marking one inch shorter on each side and drawing a line. I placed a pin at the edges of the line and I'll flip this over to the back side and I'm just going to put a piece of interfacing right over that line. Then you can stitch a fourth of an inch away from the line all the way around to create a rectangle and cut along that line and snip inwards toward the corners like a little V that on both sides and snip close to the corners but not through the thread and fold over to the back side and then iron that and it will look like this. Then you can place your zipper face down into that opening and align everything and pin it into place. Make sure everything looks good from the front side and stitch around the entire opening. Now that that is secured, you can get one of the pocket pieces, pull the interfacing back if you'd like to attach it to that as well, and stitch it onto the bottom of the zipper tape. You can iron that back over and top stitch right along the top. And then you're going to add the other pocket piece to the top of the zipper tape. You're not going to sew all the way through, just through the layers on the back side. And then with these two pieces, just align them and sew them together just right there, not all the way through. And you can zigzag stitch along the seam allowances and there you go, you have a pocket insert. Now on those corners that you marked before, you're going to cut them away. And then you'll match the side seams and stitch along the side. Now mark two inches up from the bottom of that opening and this is where your pocket is gonna go with the open bottom. Stitch that down and you have a little pocket. Do that on both sides and now you're ready to close up the bottom. Now we're not going to be sewing all the way across, only on the sides leaving that bottom middle piece open. Just like that, leave that space open. And on these corners you're going to pull them to the side and this is going to box out the bag. So match the seams together first and then pin the sides. You're going to stitch straight across and do that on both sides. And your bag is kind of popped out into three dimensions now. So then take the main material of the bag and do the same thing. Cut the corners, sew the side seams, sew the bottom all the way across, and then pop out the corners again matching up the seams and stitch straight across and you'll form a bag. So you have the seams all finished and now you're going to insert the straps and pl place the interfaced side of the strap with the main fabric and you can put the straps equal distance from the edge seams. I did about seven inches. And then I'm gonna take the lining and put it right sides out, and I'm gonna match the side seams. 
So these right sides are touching of the main fabric and the lining. And I'm just gonna align everything, sandwiching the straps in between. So pin and stitch all the way around like this. Now all you have to do is flip everything through that opening in the bottom of the lining. It's gonna be stiff, but just crunch it and pull it through the hole. And you kind of have to wrestle it into a straight shape like this and just slowly slip it through. And then you can pop everything back out into shape. And stick the lining into the bag Then you're going to take and fold that top lining into the bag, iron and stitch. And stitch that opening closed, put the corners into place and the bag is done. I hope that this tutorial was very helpful to you and you can let me know down below by giving me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you wanna see more of my videos, then you can subscribe to my channel and the little bell beside it, you can click that and you'll be notified any time that I post a video. Until next time, go get creative and make a tote bag that you love. Bye.